And it's Amanda Sovey serving with three. Quarter finals. Yeah, She's got it. There She's we go. Seven, seven. Seven. You have two player kind of inside of this box and you're going a million miles an hour, but you have to think strategy of where to place the ball and being able to move around your opponent in this small confined space. And so it kind of hits like every single aspect across the board between like physicality and like mental stamina and everything and strength and strategy and all of that. And so it just makes it so exciting. I'm Ali Farag, professional squash player and world number two. I'm the US number one and I am ranked number eight on the professional world tour. This week we have the largest prize money uh, professional squash event on the world tour, the Windy City Open. It was a pleasure coming back. I mean, I've only had good memories here. I've, I've won my world championships here uh, last year. It's $500,000 prize money, uh, 250000 for the men and 250000 for the women. So it's prize money parity. Equal prize money is huge. And you see other sports like soccer or basketball where the women are fighting to get anywhere close to the men. The U.S. was the first kind of country to have equal prize money in a major event, and now it's like a requirement that all major events have to be equal prize money, which is amazing. I started here 21 years ago. The tournament had already been going on for quite a while, and we just kept building it up. We figured out a way to put this glass court in Cathedral Hall, which is no small feat, but uh, the team here makes it happen pretty quickly now. 48 men, 48 women from far-flung places around the globe, Hong Kong, Egypt, Peru, of course the United States, uh, Europe, Canada, so it's a truly global sport. Over the last, I'd say last 20 years, you kind of saw this shift where it was an Egyptian dominance. We're super proud to be the leading nation now when it comes to squash. We have, I think, uh, the four top male players and four of the five female players are uh, Egyptians, and uh, it's something that we're really proud of for sure. I promise you that as soon as you watch it, you're gonna love it and you're gonna wanna play, so just give it a chance.